Iran's missiles to strike American satellites. After the targeted killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani, Iran flexed a bit of its ballistic missile muscle in retaliation, striking several bases in Iraq that housed U.S. troops. Striking a target just across a national border is relatively easy. What is much harder, however, is striking an adversary's satellites. A report from SAI stated that Iran's missile forces are a potent tool for Iranian power projection and a credible threat to U.S. and partner military forces in the region. Converting a missile from ground attack to space attack is not necessarily difficult. And space is a ripe target. Satellites are virtually defenseless from strikes by kill vehicles. The United States and virtually the entire world is dependent on satellites for peaceful reasons like communications, for navigating by GPS and for violent reasons, like guiding precision-guided munition or snapping photos from nuclear test sites. One expert on the danger posed by anti-satellite capabilities wrote, the military applications of ASAT missiles appear fairly obvious. Iran would seek to use the ASAT missiles to knock out U.S. satellites in order to degrade its capabilities, rendering distributed U.S. military and allied assets unable to communicate or share information. If enough satellites were knocked out in a conflict scenario, troops would have to dust of the old map and compass. A defense intelligence agency report acknowledged Iran's desire to shape the space battlefield. Iran recognizes the strategic value of space and counterspace capabilities, and will attempt to deny an adversary use of space during a conflict. Iran's capabilities in space are most effective in denying the space sphere to adversaries, rather than actually controlling it themselves. In 2011, Iran was able to capture an American drone by jamming the drone's GPS signal and spoofing another GPS signal. This is much easier to do than taking out a satellite.